California. Of the basic skills of driving, gas, brake, turn, and park, it appears Michael Otero missed the last class. I see a 7-Eleven I frequent once in a while. I, so I pull over, I go into the 7-Eleven. I'm only thinking Pepsi. That's all I want is my big gulp, my Pepsi. With his mind on his next beverage, Michael doesn't notice his brand new truck rolling away even before he closes the door. I leave my keys in the ignition, and everybody knows not to leave your keys in the ignition, but I did. As if guided by a ghost driver, the pickup spins around the corner and disappears. It would be a nifty hide-and-seek trick, but Michael's not in on the game. I pay for the drink no longer than a minute and a half. I come out of the store. This truck is gone. It's like, is somebody playing a joke on me? Am I being punked? Uh, but I can't be being punked because I'm not famous. Two minutes later, Otero calls the police to report the stolen vehicle. But what they find on the surveillance tape is like an X-Files case come true. Out of the 7-Eleven, across the street, into a parking lot, and parked itself parallel. Put itself in park and back in gear. Still, I cannot believe what happened. Whether it's magic or just dumb luck, it seems Michael knows his sweet ride is something special. It just backed out, went and parked itself like Herbie the Love Bug. You know, I call it a, a hole-in-one. It was just amazing. 